Good morning, folks. How you doing? I have a request from one of my YouTube friends. I don't offhand recall his screen name. The first part of his screen name is Judge, but I don't recall the uh, lettering. His name is Don Cadwell, and he wanted uh, some, uh, me to show him around the property uh, of the projects that I built uh, throughout the years. At first, I thought he wanted me to, uh, you know, have all the videos compiled together, but that would be physically impossible, simply because uh, they've already been edited, converted, and so forth, and the original high quality or better quality uh, AVIs, MODs, MPEGs, or whatever I happen to record them at the time, and depending on the camera I use, uh, those have all been deleted. I can't save everything in the computer. So, um, anyways. Uh, I'll, I'll do that for you, uh, Don, and uh, anyone else that's interested. Uh, most of these things are on YouTube. You just have to dig through them. Okay, we're going to start out here in no certain order, so let's get going. Okay, of course, I made this overhang last year. Um, I was going to build a whole complete uh, overhang for the, the uh, back deck, but uh, can't possibly do that because the, uh, the slope would be uh, uh, so low that you'd be hitting your head coming in on this end. So I figured just to put that to keep the rain and stuff from dripping on the uh, doorknob and everything and freezing up in the winter time. The deck, I, uh, the original deck here, this portion here is 8 feet by 12 feet. I built that uh, in uh, 1986, one year before my um, son Tommy was born. Uh, the handicap ramp, that's on video. This part is not, but this was on video. Uh, I think I built that in 2005 along with my uh, cousin's husband who's a carpenter and he's helped me out with it. And here the dumpster project uh, which I built uh, I think it's a couple of years back. Originally I built it uh, I don't know four or five years ago but then I redone the roof on it with three quarter inch plywood again from Home Depot. I got specials on it. Now I painted this, primed it and painted, but I didn't put roofing paper on it. It's a good uh, angle, but it looks like I'm going to have to put something on that. But anyways, it's basically just to keep the trash cans in. Nothing special. Two doors on it. This is my tractor storage uh, shed, simply made out of two by fours and uh, heavy duty tarpaulin. Um, and a, a little ramp here to get my tractor. I haven't used the tractor yet. It's not, uh, grass isn't really growing that great yet. But uh, that's just to keep the, uh, the, the lawn tractor in there. Here's some of these uh, pressure treated uh, timbers that I got for 50 cents a piece and I got this five foot four by four pressure treated for 50 cents, 51 cents a piece if you want to get technical. Uh, the white two by fours are the leftovers from the screen house when I tore it down. I did save some, I did save some of my uh, two by fours but not all of them, I, only the ones that were worth saving. The shed itself I built, who? can't remember how many years ago. Uh, actually it was the, the, the original shed was all uh, metal uh, from this point here uh, up to this point. This is all metal. Behind here you can hear it. It's metal and that's OSB crap board on the top there because I didn't know any better at the time. And this part from here out is OSB crap board but it's it's wood. It's all two by fours in there. And you've seen this. I built this. I'm gonna tell. I have to look at it and tell you in a minute. Well, here's a photo inside the uh, shed. Here it's dark. 1997. You can see this side addition there. That's when I uh, redone the the whole thing and made this part here. We're standing inside the shed here. This is the wooden part here. This is the metal part. You can probably see the metal roof and stuff. And I just reinforced it. It's a mess. Um, so that's how many years ago I built this. Matter of fact, uh, just yesterday I put some pressure treated wood down here. I had to redo the uh, uh, the front uh, portion of the steps here, the, the threshold area. Then, of course, uh, I built this. This was uh, a project last year. You remember I closed in the side and I made this door at a 2x6. 
and a little two by three in the middle there you can see it well inside there there's a in the previous video you saw that little door at the end down there well that door is no longer there it's a straight shot all the way in now and it becomes part of the floor for this new new addition here which of course I I built uh, started this past winter because the winter was really mild so uh, of course you probably have seen these videos this you probably have seen one of the videos the doghouse the generator doghouse for the Coleman 1850 generator well um, it's retired right now I guess Sammy our cat could go in there if he wanted to but he stays in the house most of the time uh, I'm not using that I'll tell you why to date this is not on video but this is the next project it's only because it's not on video now because uh, I don't have enough money to get the plywood that I need this is a, a 34 inch by 37 inch platform pressure treated 2x4s which I got at Home Depot 51 cents a piece this is where the, the larger generator is going to go. This is going to be a generator house. It's going to uh, be a, roughly about three feet high. It's going to have a, a slight sloped roof, not as sloped as the uh, dumpster thing there. And uh, it's going to the cover is going to come open so that I can gas up my generator because the uh, the champion generator is a, a gas it from the top and everything, and plenty of room on the sides for ventilation. So uh, this will be an upcoming project. I have some of this on video already. Uh, putting the floor down. My son Tommy came out and started videoing it. I wasn't going to even put this on video. It gets to a point where you get so much and you can't keep track of all these videos. Now this thing here, this goes back way before YouTube. This is pressure treated uh, plywood that was the skirting for my old mobile home before we bought this one and uh, this was originally a cat house and not to be confused with the uh, the two-legged cat house this is a four-legged cat house <laughs> but uh, anyways uh, we had an outside cat female cat that we had for 18 years uh, but she, she would never use it so it's used for a sandbox See, for the sand, for the walkways and everything. So we'll just leave it there. It's on an old stump that we they cut the trees down years ago. And my bird feeder sits on that. Okay, if you come over here. This is a table I built for one of our cookouts. It becomes a work table now. It's just up against this bench here. So I just use it uh, for my workbench. This originally was, if you look here, this is saw, saw as I cut the legs off. And put, I had pressure treated boards that my neighbor, who's no longer living here, uh, next door to me, uh, gave me some pressure treated wood. And I built a, uh, I built this many years ago. And this is uh, storage. And of course, when it rains, it's really, uh, that's musty in there. But, uh, becomes my uh, um, workbench. By the way, that is not on YouTube. Building that thing was not on YouTube. And neither was that other table I showed you. This, I built out of an old futon frame that my neighbor gave me. Futon was no good. Uh, it's made out of pine, but you don't know how many, how many times I paint it. I don't care what I use on it. It gets worse than this. Uh, when it gets humid, this thing's a mess. But I made a nice heavy workbench out of it. And uh, this is pressure treated here. Although this isn't, but I added pressure treated wood here for the legs so that it sits on the ground and it's going to rot out. And we put that bench here so we used to have horseshoe games. Uh, the, uh, the ramp is, is originally for the snowblower. And it is removable. There's, there's a step underneath here. This just lifts up. There's four... Uh, bolts that just uh, are bolted to this but are, are stuck in holes so the thing don't slide. So I just leave it into place. I used to remove it all the time, but I leave it into place here. A few years back I built this out of 2x12s. Again from Home Depot, bargain bin, probably about uh, $3 worth of lumber there, $4 of lumber. And of course, um, the Screenhouse Project, I'm going to repeat what I've told other people uh, my very first YouTube video not my first project my YouTube video 
was building this greenhouse and it's taken off a VHS tape and has been built in I believe it was April of 1988. Oh, by the way, uh, this I built uh, about uh, four or five years ago, and I simply copied, took the measurements from a, a, a commercial bench that one of the coffee shops used to have, and just uh, copied it. And if you look here, I simply uh, made the legs out of two by threes, and uh, you know, lose angle, these uh, mending plates, and uh, these here. Furring strips from Home Depot. That's all, nothing special. This picnic table's uh, real old. I did not build this picnic table. This was here when we moved here, and I moved here in 1982. This was originally in the screenhouse, that's why it's in nice shape. I did paint it nice. The only thing I did is I, in 1985, before we, way before I built the screenhouse, I put new 2x6s on the top. And I put new bench. Uh, uh, two by these are two by eights, two by eights uh, seats, and that's all I did to it. And on the bottom, you see where this piece is. Well, the bottom legs. If you look over here, this was originally on the ground when I when I moved here, and it was rotted out. So I I had to cut off about three inches off of each one of these legs. And I just put this 2x6 across here because this was going to be sitting inside of a greenhouse anyways. This is the platform for the greenhouse that I built in 1988. I drilled a hole in the floor, one inch hole here, because the water seems to settle here. And I don't want it to become a mosquito breeding area. This goes back when we had our old mobile home. I built this out of 4x4 and uh, did not buy this. I built this and uh, put this lamp pole and this came from a yard sale was nice and uh, brass looking at one time uh, I built this uh, I would say 1985 if I'm not mistaken it's uh, cemented in the ground and the pole had to be it pole originally was over here uh, but when we had the new mobile home and they had to grade this we had this mobile home put in here in 1993 they had to move the uh, pole and the underground wiring and everything so I just redid it and moved it back over here I built this out of pressure treated I had uh, my neighbor uh, when he was living next door he had his truck and he bought 14 foot uh, two pieces of pressure treated 2x4 I had to buy those he gave me these pressure treated boards and I simply painted to make a walkway because there's always a mud hole here in the spring thaw um, I built this last year. This was the, the original deck was built quite a number of years ago, um, but I did close in the stairs, and I did build a porch, and that's on my projects uh, that I built this last year. And it's time for paint. Time to get painted again. And uh, I have st uh, storage underneath here. These are made to come right out. These can pull right out. I can't do it now. I gotta have two hands to do that. It's just simply pinned in there and you just lift it right out. I store my stuff up underneath there. Relocated the dryer vent from the side of the building out to here. Now looking straight ahead here, this is the stump cover. That's on my videos. A stump cover project a few years back. Don't recall what year. When they cut the trees down, they had like one big tree here, rotted out stump. Could never really remove it without having a professional trunk stump removal service so I simply made out of the pressure treated wood that my neighbor did give me at the time uh, a, a cover for this but basically we used to I used to keep this painted and we had our cookouts that kids would uh, sit around here and everything and play their uh, board games and whatever they wanted to do when we had our cookouts so that's uh, last year uh, when we had the storm Irene uh, ran my little Coleman generator on this um, and uh, the doghouse was sitting on top of it, but the problem is it's too close to the house, so I don't want the exhaust fumes uh, this close to the house, so that's why I'm putting the uh, generator over there, and it's only going to be used in that place when there's a storm, otherwise I put the, uh, if it's an impending storm coming, we just take and put the generator in there, otherwise I keep it in a shed. Now, I don't know if I got this on video, but the window boxes with the artificial flowers, I added this, the fake windows. That's nothing but uh, 
tar paper, you know, black tar paper and plexiglass that my uh, neighbor had given me because he was in the glass business and he had some plexiglass. Uh, that's the old goat. And this, this of course, is the old this, this stepping stool project that I had uh, made that I uh, have videos on. That's for outside use, you know. Makes a good, sturdy, safe uh, step stool to work on. And of course, naturally, the roof project, uh, uh, the roof goat series. If anybody's interested and has not watched that yet, when I did the whole roofing of this thing here. Um, there is one thing you may have seen the video on the horseshoe bench project, which was on the side of this house, well, uh, this building. Well, of course, that's part of the floor for this now. So we no longer have horseshoe games because we don't have cookouts anymore. But uh, I figured I'd use that uh, two by 12 that was there for the bench that I made and add it to the floor for this thing. All right. Now, this of course is on, on YouTube, the door project. Two, two three quarter inch pieces of plywood glued together, sandwiched together, nailed. Um, you can see this is all two buys. You've seen that, that's on video if you want to look back. Uh, <coughs> <coughs> what a mess. It fills up quickly. This is the inside of the new shed. You can see how much stuff I got in here. I can't even walk around in here anymore. We still keep, uh, for our own grill, we keep a few things for cookouts. And a couple of VCRs in case my wife's VCR breaks down. She records her soaps and stuff, so... Always picking up a VCR for five, no more than ten dollars at a yard sale if it's a good quality one, and just keep my hand. Well, I can, can't think of any other projects. There's a couple of them inside, but uh, wife is sleeping right now, so I'm not going to be narrating any videos. But the entertainment center was not on video. The entertainment center was built uh, and recorded on analog video, and it was never transferred to uh, digital. It's too big of a job to do. And uh, so we just left that alone. Um, but that was built many years ago. But uh, ent if you're interested in seeing the entertainment center, it's on one of my videos called uh, Merry Christmas to my YouTube friends, I believe. And it was either recorded, uh, I think it was this past year or the year before. It was a, a year or two ago that I recorded. You just have to look it up. Thank you for watching, everybody. You have a good day.